I've been driving around pretty much all morning long. It's getting to be a little afternoon and um, awesome. Found it. This weekend I brought you guys up to a dispersed campsite in Itasca County. This place is awesome. There's not a cabin on this lake. We're the only ones out here. There's no campgrounds around. I had to dig deep into the bag of tricks for this one, but we found it. The last people that were here didn't leave this campground the cleanest, so we got a little bit of cleaning up to do. Let me show you what we got. There's a lot of cardboard and stuff laying around. Stuff that we can burn. and whatever can't burn, we'll just bring home. Thermostat, car parts, always car parts. I'm really looking forward to just starting this fire to take care of some of these bugs. I have no idea if this stuff's gonna burn or not. It should. Let's get some of that on there. That'll make smoke. We seen last week how much pigs people can be out here in the woods and I just don't understand it. Oh, this will be another nice smoky one. There's a couple more bags over here. We'll see what's in them. I don't really want to pick up anybody's waist, so Let's hope it's not full of that. Golly, I don't know what's in these, but. What the world? Oh yeah, no, that one is a, we don't need to talk about what's in that one. Gross. Aluminum. Man, people are filthy. Success. We got the place looking pretty respectable. When I pulled up this afternoon, that fire pit was a mess. There's garbage scattered all over the place. Now tomorrow morning when I wake up and step out that door, it's gonna feel like I'm just out in nature. It's like every time I clean these places, the birds sing even louder. middle of nowhere. There's no campgrounds anywhere near. There's not a house on this lake. There's no one around. And when you see these places trashed, it's a little bit depressing and a little bit spooky. But tomorrow morning when I wake up, walk out of that camper for the first time and we have nice, beautiful northern Minnesota, it's going to feel good. I think for right now, we're going to go inside because I'm going to get carried away by these mosquitoes. It is getting bad out here. The good news is I only have to deal with the mosquito hatch for probably another two months. And then the horse flies come out. But at least I won't be dealing with mosquitoes anymore. I am just a sweaty mess. So I got the truck running. I'm gonna turn the inverter on, run the air conditioner for a little bit. That air conditioner is gonna pull some of the humidity out of here. I feel sticky, full of mosquito guts. Indeed, I am ready for the shower. It's the nice thing about these truck campers. All the amenities you could ever need, way up in the middle of absolute nowhere. I always feel so much better after a hot shower. Tomorrow morning we're gonna get up, do some fishing. I'll see you guys then.
this morning. I'm going to head down to the lake, try and catch supper. I got some small leeches and night crawlers, and hopefully we can catch some sunnies or crappies. And uh, I preloaded the hoodie with bug spray this morning. <laughs> I'm hoping that I don't get carried away down there. There's our setup today, hook and bobber. I'll probably try about four feet down. I've got some small leeches and also, they call them beaver tails, but they're just small night crawlers. Let's go see what we can do. There we go. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at that. That's a nice smallie right there. That'll work. Oh, you are going to be fish tacos tonight. One of these is plenty. I'm going to get that small mouth cleaned up and then I'll let it soak for a couple hours in some salt water, but fish tacos for supper. I'm pretty excited about that. Well, unfortunately, I don't think YouTube allows me to show a fish getting cleaned anymore. This salt water is going to do a couple of things. Number one, it'll pull out any of the blood that's in the fish yet. And the other thing it'll do is just give it a little bit of flavor. Beautiful. And in the fridge it goes. I've been putting off things, like fixing the door. I bought this handle six months ago. Haven't fixed it yet. We're gonna fix it right now, and then we're gonna fix supper. Well, let's go. Looks like it's gonna be pretty straightforward. Just a couple of screws and hoping that it matches up. Just little self tappers. Look at that, the holes even line up. Sweet. Look at that. Now we can get on to supper. You are going to be with on my first attempt at fish tacos. My first attempt at a sauce. Let's check this out. I found a recipe on the internet. We're going to mix it up a little bit. It's going to be equal parts sour cream and mayonnaise. And then I'm just going to add in some of this horseradish and a couple of cloves of garlic. All eight ounces and all eight ounces of mayonnaise. The horseradish was my idea and um, I'm just gonna go, oh, maybe a tablespoon and we'll mix that up. Two cloves of garlic will be fine. Last thing I'm gonna add in, it's gonna be half a lemon. That tastes really, really good. That'd be good on French fries. Horseradish gives it just a little kick. 
And as far as the rest of the ingredients, we're gonna go uh, tomatoes, cabbage, some cilantro, an onion, and jalapenos. I love the flavor of jalapenos. What I'm gonna do is just take out most of the seeds though. Next, I'm gonna be dicing up the tomatoes. And we'll just cut up some of the cilantro. And then we're just gonna chop up these onions really fine. I almost forgot. We're also gonna add some of this fire roasted corn. Let's get started on the fish. We're gonna be cooking the fish at kind of a low heat. I'm not gonna bread it or anything. We're just gonna taste the fish, no breading. A little bit of salt and pepper is what we'll use for seasoning. Boy, those are thick. Perfect. It's getting a little bit toasty here in the camper. I got a mess to clean up. I'm gonna put this spread together and I'm gonna show you guys how this all turned out. I'm thinking tonight will be a good night to eat outside. Look at that fancy bottle. Holy. I got the grill out for the shells. Remember, if you guys are going to be using this plastic table, don't put a grill on it because that'll burn for sure. I just put that piece of wood under there and it helps. Some cabbage, some of the bass, got our fresh pico sauce, some feta cheese, and then our secret sauce. All right, well, here it is. This thing looks good. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. So if you were to ask how this compares to the fish tacos that I've had at restaurants, this one is much, much better. Oh, I hate you mosquitoes. I did a little bit more cleaning on the campground this afternoon and I hope if someone rolls in here next weekend, they see how clean it is and then they do the same. The bugs are nuts, but uh, campground's clean. We'll just get these garbages put away for the night. They're not gonna fit too well, but hopefully this will keep the bears away. I'm gonna have to work on this. Holy buckets, just be gone with you guys. Insane. Yeah, I'm not hanging around outside tonight. There's just zero wind out there today and I think that's part of the problem too. But I got a couple hours of editing to do before I go to bed and then take a shower. I figure if I get outside around 10, 30, 11 o'clock, I'll be able to put a ratchet strap around that box and there will probably be less mosquitoes out. But if I feel the camper shaking tonight, and we know that a black bear is trying to get in my box, uh, that'll be good times. I will make sure to let you guys know if that happens. I'll see you a bit.
I saw one family come out to use the boat landing, talk to them a little bit. They were catching crappies and sunnies out on the lake. Other than that, hasn't been anybody here. Right off the backside of the camper, we got a little trail. I walked through here yesterday. I didn't find any trash. If you're gonna be bringing a tent out into the woods, I mean, a bathroom like that, what else do you need? Last night I was able to go out around 11.30 and I got the garbage secured. That way I didn't have to worry about a black bear showing up and digging through the garbage. I would have had to pick up that whole mess again. The black bears are definitely out and they've got their cubs right now. So you do want to be careful. And if you're going to be walking through the woods, not a bad idea to have bear spray. I know I mentioned it on some videos before, but one day I will get a raft and be able to paddle out on some of these lakes and rivers I get to. I think that would be awesome. I think I'm gonna have to do some cleaning on the camper this week when I get off work. One tip for you, don't ever swat a mosquito when it's on the curtains or if you have fabric ceiling because you'll leave blood splatter marks everywhere. Since it is nice and quiet here, I think I'm gonna get a little bit more editing done before I finally pack up and get ready to go. I don't know about you, but I got work tomorrow, so we gotta get out of here. Well, just like that, we got this video in the bag. You've been hanging out with me all weekend. <laughs> That's long enough. We'll do this again next week, but until then, be kind, be honest. We'll see you down the road.